Welcome to a very sunny weather of Sydney. This oh is no. summer, but it's raining and it's actually quite cold. Anyway, welcome back to our channel, Nick and Helmy. So today we are starting brand new series called First Time Trying. So we've tried different cuisine before, for example, like Ethiopian, Nigerian, Moroccan. So if you haven't watched it, watch it now. But today we're gonna take you to two different places. One is to try the Colombian food and the other one is Peruvian food. Now we never really try Colombian mm -hmm. food and today I think it's the first time you are trying different cuisine and of course different food as well. So sorry in advance if we pronounce it wrong. Let's try our best. Alright, let's go. So for Colombian piece, we are currently at La Herradura Coffee Stable, which is like a mm -hmm. cafe, Colombian cafe in Altimo or Chippendale. It's very close to the Broadway shopping center and they are very, very lovely, very friendly and been helping me what to order. So we basically order, okay, Bandea Paisa, I hope I pronounced it correctly, and Soncocho del Galina, which is a <laughs> soup. And we're gonna order obviously the Colombian hot chocolate. So Nick never know this, but Colombia do very good hot chocolates because they serve it with cheese. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's gonna be interesting. Yes. So the foods are here, but first thing first is obviously the hot chocolate. Look at that. So first of all, the cup is really cute. I really want to have one as well. And it comes with queso, which is the cheese. Wow, look oh at that. God. It's a big chunk of cheese. It's a big chunk of cheese. I should never try this as well, but I've seen a lot of videos where you just dunk the cheese in the hot chocolate. I can't find the cheese now. Where is it? Just drink it, Elmi. Just drink it? Alright, let's try it. Wow, Nick, it works really well. Especially if you don't like sweet stuff and you combine it with the cheese, it's like, yeah, salty, sweet, cheesy, and chocolatey, gooey kind of flavor. Yeah, it's let really, me try really that. Good. Yeah. It's starting to melt slowly into the hot chocolate. Mm. So, are you supposed to like eat? The cheese with the hot chocolate like that? Yes. Oh. You know you know what a cheese tastes like? It's like vegan cheese, you know? <laughs> it's like so chewy and bouncy. It's yeah. kind of funny. So next up we have Bandea Paisa, which is kind of like a national dish of Colombia. And, and, and the story what Helmi was saying to me that uh, people used to, uh, you know, they work long hours. So in the morning they need something punchy, something crazy. And this is like the dish for them, right? Breakfast so for champions. Yes, breakfast. Like we have big breakfast here. This is Bandea Paisa. It's, it's their big breakfast pretty much, <laughs> right? I mean, it's insane. You look at that, the teacher on there, the fried egg with little parsley, um, plantains, uh, tomatoes, and avocado, rice, chorizo, or the red bean. I haven't had sausage for a while, so I'm gonna try the chorizo, right? Oh, look at that. My god, this is such a messy place to eat. <laughs> okay, chorizo by itself. And a bit of rice. Why not? Because we're Asian, right? Mm. That's packed with so much flavor. There's that oiliness, that fattiness to it, and just the tenderness and the succulent of that meat. It's so beautiful. This is really good. I love this. This is the, it's not too salty. Sometimes chorizo can be really, really salty, but that is just perfect. That's just the right kind of taste that you want on a chorizo. What combo should we get next? <laughs> this one with the the bean. And the bean. And a little bit of that bean. All right, perfect. <laughs> It's really soft, like literally shredded. It's so easy. It really literally kind of melts in your mouth. And the bean, ooh, creamy. Oh, so beautiful. This is this is like very homey. And that's the arepa. That's oh my god, look at that. Oh, with cheese? With cheese inside. So this is a cornbread with cheese inside. Arepa. Wow. Arepa. 
All right, so I'm very, very keen to try arepa because everyone been talking about arepa, Colombian. This is like a Colombian banh mi. It's a staple dish called arepa, and look at that, super cheesy. Wow. It's very simple. This is like cornbread with some cheese inside. It's very cheesy, melty and very gooey as well so when I look at the menu I feel like I think Colombian and Asian will be best friends forever you know why? because everything served with rice rice like Asians can't live without rice I think Colombian as well I don't know but any Colombian please comment down below but something interesting though they always serve the rice with avocado I don't know What's the love about rice and avocado? I really don't know because the other one is also rice and avocado as well. But all right, let's try this. Chicharron. All right, so pork belly for breakfast. Why not, right? Should I eat with rice? Obviously. crunchy I've tasted it I thought it's gonna be like oily but it's not it's actually very very nice it's like crunchy it's really good honestly honestly guys I prefer this type than the Chinese one because the Chinese one is very salty on top whereas this one is very subtle so you can eat other stuff all together yeah, I prefer that. So when we order stuff, obviously we think that it's not gonna be a lot, especially when the two of us are eating. But it's actually a lot. So this one is San Cocho de Galina. I think that's how. San Cocho de Galina. San Cocho de Galina. I'm, I'm trying to read this from the menu, right? Okay. So never eaten this before. Obviously, kind of looks like soto if you're from Indonesia, right? Because it's like that yellow color, you know. So obviously they've, they've got corn, uh, corn chicken stock there, leek. Um, all different combinations as well and cassava as well and yeah it looks like a very hearty kind of dish maybe a dish when you're not feeling too well because this is what the dish kind of reminds me of right and of course rice with avocado like Helmi was saying they do love their avocado I think it's an exotic and exquisite item <laughs> I love avocado especially when you, we do avocado juice with a bit of that condensed milk for Helmi oh, oh no. so good, so good. Mm. Try it with avocado in it. What do you think? The rice is not like your normal plain rice. Yes. It's like there's a... It's like an oil... There's an oil to it, you know? And there's a taste to it. Yeah. I, I can't make it out what it is, but... Mm. See, it works, right? It works. Yeah. Let's try the chicken here. Alright, look at that. A bit of that soup. Very hearty item. As soon as I bite that chicken, oh man, I can really taste a little bit of that soup as well. It's not full on, but that's very hearty, chickeny uh, flavor there. It's just nice and right. It, I think this is like a perfect dish to eat when you're like not feeling too well. On a rainy day, on a cold day, this is a perfect dish. It's really, really just simple and nice, packed with a lot of vegetable and you can see underneath there are leeks and all the different stuff as well. So kind of healthy kind of dish as well. And um, yeah, the chicken is also soft there. You can see how soft and kind of tender. Like it's just literally got almost, see that? How easy to break apart the meat there. So it's really, really nice. So I think this is not on the menu, but obviously the owner said that this is like sort of a national kind of drink in Colombia. Um, I'm trying to find what it's called again. I think aqua <laughs> what do you de call, panela. What do you call this again? Agua de panela. Agua de panela. Okay, yeah. there we Pan go. Panela is this. So panela is this, so it's a brown cane sugar which they put there. So apparently this is like sort of like an after exercise drink. It's kind of like your Gatorade after exercise, apparently. Let's give this a go. Yeah, looks really red. Either the cup's red or it's really red. <laughs> Oh, it's like a refreshing lemonade. The tanginess. Refreshing this. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think the cup is just red. I thought it was red. Oh, the cup is red. Yeah. Is it? 
The inside is not. It's like a lemonade. Oh. Yeah, it's like a lemonade. This is a cup. It's red. I thought it was red. <laughs> Tastes mm. like lemonade, so sweet, sour, and tangy with this thing, the panela. It's really good. I think this one is perfect for like summer when it's super, super hot, and then you just drink it. It's super refreshing. And yes, the cup is red. It's actually not red inside. <laughs> it's just like lemonade. I know. I thought the I thought it was red too mm. until I realized that it's only the cup that's red. Oh, this is really good though. I like it. Okay. Disclaimer, Nick doesn't really like lemon stuff, like lemon drink, lemonade. No, I do like it. You don't like it. Because you don't like you. No, no, though. I can't eat like this. Oh, yeah, I can eat it. You can. I can't. It's yeah. like, ooh. Yeah, Helmi can't do that, but I can. Look. Yeah. Serious? Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. Very tangy. Right? You know why I can do it? This is the practice that I've done years and years in the club. Drinking tequila shots. <laughs> so the weather is not really conducive, but we are at our second spot, uh, Hacienda Peruvian restaurant here in Sydney CBD, section on Sussex Street. It's a uh, well, the place kind of reminds me of uh, like a convenience store because uh, in the front there is a lot of like merchandise. There's a lot of uh, retail products that you can buy and also obviously snacks, a lot of snacks and that's what I love about this place. So you can eat the food and then if you think it's really really good you can take some of the ingredients back home or some of the snacks at home to try again. So I think we're going to be going a little light this afternoon. We're going to be ordering Leche de Tigre. Uh, so that's a citrus based marinated with onions, lime juice and mixed kind of seafood. Yeah, kind of like a prawn cocktail, kind of like a prawn cocktail, right? Yeah, should we try it, Rodney? Yeah, the one we tried in Maricu Papitos, they open at 5 o'clock. Uh, that's why we're here. We want to try something uh, a little different, something that's daylight, you know, like you can come in daytime. Uh, that one, unfortunately, uh, because of the uh, whole pandemic, they're shut down for uh, lunchtime, but they're open on for dinner time, and th that's a great place to go to. Uh, but the one that really caught our eyes in this restaurant was, I think you said, arroz con bolo. Uh, and that is a rice cooked with cilantro and a black beer and then with some onion salsa and a, like chicken or, or duck. But we're gonna go for chicken because we love chicken. Okay, so we know for Peruvian food, you have to try the ceviche, but we look at it, it's actually a very big portion. Yep, very, very big portion. And it's, it's kind of similar because it's like the mixed seafood with lime juice, so we decided to try this one. All right. Wow, look at this. Lots of... Um, so we have the fish, octopus, uh, fried calamari, there's like onion, some cilantro as well. Let's try it. Ooh. Tangy, right? Very tangy, oh my god, and spicy. Mm. So this one is Inca Cola. So this is like, I guess, like uh, Peruvian Coca Cola or soda. Uh, yeah, um, we asked what's a uh, uh, drink to try, uh, and they said Inca Cola. So here we go. Never tried Inca Cola before, yeah. But you know, this is a series about first time trying, all right? Here you go. Do you like cola? Coca Cola? Yeah. Oh, it's nice. It's like a. Uh, Red Fanta, like the Indonesian Red Fanta, uh, but uh, with some lemonade, but diluted, so it's not as strong. Mm. Nice. What do you think? Nice, right? Yeah. Like it's subtle. It's not too sweet. Really good, guys. Inca Cola. Try it. Trust me, it's really good. No wonder everyone here having this Inca Cola. Yeah, it's really nice. good. Arroz con bolo. I think that's how you say it. So yeah, it's it's, it's rice cooked with cilantro inside uh, and black beer, uh, and then we got some uh, onion salsa. They say is there and chicken. Look at that. Just got a drumstick and just shove it in the middle right there. You know, wow, that looks. It's so fragrant though. You can really just smell how fragrant it is. I I am I, I'm excited about this dish. Really excited.
gotta try the rice first here. So the rice looks very green because of the cilantro, I think. Yeah, but it's looking really, really good. Oh yeah. Well, I can't describe it. It's actually a really glutinous rice. It becomes like a little bit of a glutinous rice. Wow, it's just beautiful. I got that cilantro aftertaste. I don't know if I can even taste the beer because I think most of the beer must must have evaporated when you're cooking it, right? But wow, there's like this huge aftertaste that is that actually is pleasant. Yeah, it's like a really nice aftertaste. Look at that. Oh man, that chicken is beautiful. When I cut the chicken right, I can just smell the aroma of that chicken literally just hits your nose. It is insane. Tenderness, full of flavor, just absolutely beautiful. It's actually a really good dish. I do feel like Colombian food, Peruvian food, it's a very homey food, you know? Kind of like Filipino. Uh, it's usually your mom and dad's kind of cooking and you can kind of feel that kind of passion through, through the flavors of the rice and through the chicken dude. Yeah, that's what I feel like. Literally like feels like you're kind of mom's cooking. Like really simple and beautiful. So when you eat this, drink the Inca Cola, it's actually a really good combo, right? Because you get the savory, the oiliness and then you cut it through with a bit of the refreshing Inca Cola. It's kind of like, the more I drink it, it just tastes like a diluted Fanta. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Us trying Colombian food for the very first time, Peruvian food. I know there is a lot more out there in the world. That's why we're gonna ask you guys if you guys have any ideas what dishes we should try next, put in the comment down below. And yeah, um, we will see you guys next week. And don't forget to check out our Discord link, which is down here in the description and also on the comment section and you can have a chat with us and also give us some input, give us some ideas. We'd love to hear from you guys. So I'll see you guys next week. Right